I'm trying to go get, I'm trying to go get on Puff Podcast. I'm bro. Get some ladies on that bitch, man. You get on that bitch, talk and talk that shit, man. Nah, though, but yeah, though. I think I'm finna do Puff's interview uh, in parts as well. Loyalty come in a lot of ways, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't sit back, and, you can't sit back and downplay your dog, your homie, around an, around, around a set of a group of other people, right? Because this my homie. Why would I downplay my homie <coughs> in front of some other, some other people, right? Because at the end of the day, what yeah, they sitting right here talking about folks, but the moment I open my mouth and say something, whatever I say could be took in a whole different way. I could have said it in a way that it wasn't meant, but it, it was mm. took yeah. totally different. Like but his, I see like it, and it makes a like, motherfucker talking about my home. Like a different way? Uh, like, like, are you talking about like a person interpreting it like a different way than yeah, what you intend to Yeah, okay. a person, that, a definitely a, a, a interpreted totally different from how, how, you mean? how you said it or how you meant it. So when it, with, in those situations, those, it's best not to say nothing. And if you is saying something, you saying something on the behalf of the person that's being talked about, that's loyalty, right? Loyalty. I'm not gonna go back and fuck my home. Even if folks look me in my face and like, oh yeah, fuck this bitch, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not gonna go behind folks back and fuck her because he said fuck her, nah. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Because in the long run, folks still love her. They still got go whatever they got going on. Just right now for this moment is fuck her. It's fuck this situation, right? So we don't supposed to fuck our homie girls, right? Mm -hmm. But if your homie fucking yo, but if we all fucking, if we all fucking each other bitches, right? Then they be like, oh y'all all foul in a way, cause y'all all fucking each other bitches. But you gotta have that type of understanding with your niggas. You see what I'm saying? This my homie, oh this my dog. So we know, oh yeah, fuck. What's off limits? What's not off limits? Cause th that's my homie. Yeah, motherfuckers that go behind your back and hit that what's that that off limits bitch. You can't hit her, she off limits. And then boom, it's a problem. And, and that that alone will cause its own problem. A lot of niggas be like, oh yeah, I ain't getting into it over no bitch. But in a slight way, you'd have got into it over a bitch in some type of way. But it, it's hard for you to admit it's it cipher to yourself. It. Or yeah, mm -hmm. or the cipher. It. My dead niggas be crazy. Like you could have some pent up anger over your homie fucking the off limit bitch and then boom it just comes out out of nowhere without you even intending it to, you know what I'm saying? 9 to 10, 9 to 10, you a motherfucker, uh, I said that backwards, I'm fucked up, <laughs> I'm fucked up, somebody told my little ass under in the comments you gotta eat, uh, they told my ass you gotta uh, 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 EQ a motherfucker, 35, yo EQ score 35, oh damn. I ain't know I'm that slow. I ain't know I be sounding that slow on my interviews. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for anybody that's watching this interview right now, um, drop comments. Next time we meet up with Butter, we can ask the comments. Uh, what y'all want to know questions. or whatever. Whatever questions you have, we can ask. This is a dope ass interview. We right here smoking. Dope. Come, bro. <laughs> so. No dead people tonight. We just smoke good weed. <laughs> Grade A marijuana. Top tier. Top tier. They said it's off the top of the rack. They know things off the rack. We get off the top shelf. It's some good shit. Local, local hit makers come over here with the motherfucker. Hit makers got the motherfucking. He got the gas tea. He got the gas tea. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Funny as fuck, bro. Oh, look at this. So. <coughs> What's your thoughts on having a THC but a brand company? Yo, that'd be fire. That ain't hey, also real shit though. <laughs> Cause look, I be high as fuck. Also <laughs> real shit. So if they was to give me my own weed though, bro, I I definitely go for some dope. I I go for like three. I go for three different type of weeds. I go for like some a, a real flavor, like where you can taste the flavor. It actually be high. Mm. Some and, I go, gas. and I go for some OG too. I, I I do two sets of OG and one and one side if I had my own weed. You know what you should do too? Dabs, press, I, butter. I, I, I love me a dab. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Butter. 
Butter dabs. The real butter. Oh, bro. The real. I, I, look. Every time I take a dab, I fucking fall out. It's done for. Or I'm going to sleep. The first time I took a dab. All right, so we go, let's, can we do dab stories? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, let's do dab stories. How was the first time FBG butter took a dab? Dab story. I, hey, no funny shit. I, I can't make this shit up. No funny. <laughs> I can't make this shit up, right? R.P. Sean Patrick. Nah, I went white boy. We out, we out the motherfucking. We in Dansville somewhere, but we's really close to Chicago Heights though. Nah. We sit in the garage. We have nah. We have that's two Shans. It's Sean Patrick and Sean Parker. White boy cooler. Like these is like honest. These is the first set of white boys that I ever met. That was like cool as fuck. I mean, they were so cool, I didn't even understand them. Like, I felt like they had black souls, right? Mm -hmm. But in real life, they it just, they had pure souls. That's all, and, and pure souls, no pure souls, when they run across some motherfuckers, no good people, bro. And That's I, that energy. It is, yeah. They like, uh, they sitting at, at first they was hitting the dab pen, you know, okay. This 2014, mm -hmm. this 2014. They see they hitting the pin. Okay, cool. I hit that bitch. Okay, that's cool. Now he got a he got a little pump. Now when I look at it, I'm like, all right, where the weed go? Where you put the weed in? Like, this ain't that type of bond club, bro. <laughs> Fuck that bomb, yeah, what y'all smoking? He man. Now it was on the paper just like it was on the paper just like the raw on for the road. I went bro, but yeah, not just like the paper. But you know what I'm saying? It was on the black's paper. Now he pulled it out, he he, yeah, but look, he, he had a see on them real, real mini school drivers because he was using that to Scoop pick it off and drop it down. Oh, my daddy, now, why that's some crackhead shit? <laughs> 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 Yo, boy, what the fuck is that? He man, this weed, boy, 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 man, that ain't no motherfucking weed. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. And I look at like, man, yeah, that's weed, that's weed. Boy, he on Joseph, that's weed. Oh, man, let me hit that shit. Now they like now white boy he, they laughing and shit. He, he yeah to him you better watch how you hit that bitch when I bought Friday shit boy I've been smoking since I was two you know my fucking cracking jokes I boy I've been smoking since I was two I want to and stop playing with me let me see the lighter woo woo he lighter he know you got to use a torch look bro I'm a torch what the fuck I'm out man y'all let's crack it speaking he know let me see he he heat that bitch up for me he got the screwdriver he flat he, he put that bitch in there he hit it hit it hit it I, I, that bitch, I'm hitting it, it's burning, it's popping. Oh, oh, what the fuck? He got me smoking, but when I'm hitting it, I taste the weed now. I'm all this, all this weed. Oh, get to trying to over smoke that bitch. I oh, get that. <coughs> oh, <it starts> sorry. <coughs> get the thorn up in that bitch. Oh, bro, I throw up everything. Throw up everything. That. RB White Boy. Now, White Boy, Big Brother, because they both named Sean and Sean Patrick and, like, and Sean Parker. Now, Parker, we in Parker Garage. We in the Big Brother Garage. Now, he, oh, hell no, Twenty. Hell no, Twenty. You gotta clean that shit up. That's some nasty shit, bro. Oh, bro. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm getting that bad. What the fuck y'all just give me? I got motherfucking. Wendy's coming out my nose. Oh, blue. <laughs> Motherfuckers, everybody in the garage laughing, all of the females right there, Jayla, Zayesha, Jariah, motherfucking, uh, uh, Bookies, and fucking, it was, it was a couple, we had, we had the, we had the suburban night like, girls with us on my daddy, we had, we had, the, we had the suburban girls with us, though, them was my dogs, I was fucking with them, though, I still fuck with a couple of them, but uh, yeah, though, and Kiwi, Kiwi was out there with us, too, on my dad, and, to, and Tamir. To me, a little pretty. She was something nice. She had, <laughs> she had them little eyes on my daddy. Blow, blow my soul. She out there laughing at me. That's what really was blowing me. All, all the females out there laughing. I'm like, damn. I ain't never just choked in front of the hoes. I missed the drink. I'm like, damn. I just choked in front of the hoes. They laughing at me. Motherfucker get that salty. But yeah, no, that was my first dab. What was your first dab? was like? Uh, my first dab. Um, shout out Elias. Uh, we was at his crib, and he was telling me to take this dab. I wish I was there for that shit, bro. And he must be. He was telling. Okay, so he was telling me, "You ever hit a bomb?" I was like, "Yeah." So he's like, "It's basically just like that." I'm like, "All right, cool." So he gives me the shit, 
And he's like, he scoops up the dab, shows me, shows me the shit. He's like, oh, this bitch. And he's like, ain't this bitch small? He's looking at everybody else in that motherfucker. He's like, ain't this bitch small? They're all green. I'm like, oh. I was like, that's cap. <laughs> that was and funny. Like, he gave a look. He nice probably gave him a he big ass that bitch. It was probably a nice ass dad, too. He dropped that bitch in a banger. And I grabbed it. I grabbed it and I burnt my fucking thumb. He grabbed it. He grabbed the hot ass glass because like, he thought he had to pull that bitch like a bomb oh, slider, bro. Like, like he was hitting yeah. the bomb and try to clear that bitch. He told me he hit yeah. the bomb. I was like, dude. <laughs> he told me that shit, bro. I was like, oh my god. Shit, I was man. like, yeah, bro. You, I, you just had to grab the hot so ass bad. glass. I dropped one of them bitches before. Folks is bad. Dude, yeah, I, he bought that bitch a hundred eighty dollars. Ooh, yeah. oh, dang. At the time, I'm fucked up, I'm, bro. I'm a, I'm an average. The average ass nigga, I hang with the rappers. He talking about hundred eighty dollars. <laughs> what? I'm for that. Stop playing. We go get one of them bitches right now. Say starting for three dollars. So, bro, he that ain't one of those. <laughs> nah, that the difference though. Nah, what fuck you name? You bad dog. Nah, drop that boy. Watch how you handle that bitch. Be, be polite. <laughs> Man, I can't do that. I'm known shit. as a bomb like killer that. myself. I, I broke at least probably four in my total time of smoking. I think I'm only one that threw up off a dab first time. I almost did off that dab. I that never, I never peeped up. off weed. I fell out completely off of weed, like passed the fuck out. What was your first time, too? What, hitting the dab? And then. So, oh. Shit. Or a dab story. Or me falling on the floor. Which one? Because, alright, I'm telling well, how you how I fell on the floor, alright. I was sitting down, there's a bong rip, right? Regular ass bong. But I cleared the whole bitch. Like, I cleared the whole fucking piece. And then I, like, one long hit it, the whole thing. And then I exhaled. But when I exhaled, I stood up like a dumbass. And then I, like, stand by the counter. I was kind of woozy. And then I fell out, supposedly. But my dad was in the room. So he, like, caught me. And I didn't, <laughs> I didn't smack the ground or whatever. And he picked me up, bro. But this is the craziest part, bro. He picked me up and put me in the same exact place I was when I fell out, bro. So when so I woke up, I didn't believe him, bro. Nah, you lied. I was like, dude, nah. That did not happen. You lied. That didn't happen. <laughs> he was like, dude, you just fucking passed out. Sit down. <laughs> I fucking get that. I was like, for real? Ain't no way. No. The funniest story. Getting high school. Nah, I got a few getting high school. But the funniest one, seeing somebody just... Over half the weed that I was like, man, he faked was Lil P. Lil P from EBT, no funny. It's me, Lil P, Lil, my little brother, Lil George, GI, KI, motherfucking Lucky. Who else spun night over there with us? Booger. Who else is with us? I don't know, it was a lot of us. We was all, we was all up, we was all, we was all in there, bitch. Probably turn as fuck, huh? Trying to rap, yeah. Now at the time, young them, this when the FBG they okay. Now the FBG rappers getting their getting their little attention. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Now me, Lil George, and Lil P side trying to rap. Now we was gonna start our all the group, but I was already still, I was already FBG. I was level four at this at, at this time. Mm -hmm. But folks don't want trying to let they want trying to let GI be. FBG, they get that hell nah, boy. You STL, we rappers, whoa, whoa, whoa. 